just slightly short, smashed away. Is he going to race away all the way to the line? Just slowing up. Gets to the rope, four runs, first boundary of the innings. Nicely struck. Yeah, Tim Murda just offering a little bit too much width to Shaji Khan and at that pace. You know, he's going to feast on that, and despite the slow nature of the outfield, he's pierced the gap, and, and he, he's off the mark with a boundary. Oh, that one's lifted high, 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 and carries the rope just by a metre or two, six runs, picked up beautifully, thought he might have got under a little bit, but safely away to the rope. Brought smiles to the Pakistani faces. Just look at this. Absolutely magnificent shot from Sharjil Khan. He's just held his shape. He's kept that elbow nice and high. As you can see, he doesn't pick his bat up too highly, but he's just held his shape, full face of the bat, and he's just deposited that straight over long off for six and a great start, much to the satisfaction of his of his colleagues in the pavilion. Oh, short pulled away. Great shot. Zips away to the boundary rope. Shajil Khan has taken a bit of a fancy to Tim Murta here. Yeah, Tim Murta's obviously after the, the last ball of the previous over was, was hit back over his head for six, so naturally he's dragged his length back, and Shajil Khan is hanging on the back foot and has deposited that to the square leg boundary. Picked up beautifully, saw that early. Took it on the full, just over pitched from, well, not pitched at all, but slightly full toss from McCarthy. Again, driven away. That's a beautiful shot, and it's four more. Races over the rope. That long arm. Ten off three balls. Shajil Khan getting after Barry McCarthy. Six overs gone. 28 for one. taking that test again oh, at the moment bowlers are taking a test against this man Shajin oh it looks so good and that's his 50 what a 50 it came in no time two sixes six boundaries Pakistan are 77 for one after that enormous six from Shajil Grounds here in, pa in, in Pakistan, in Ireland, aren't big enough for Shaji Hill. Once you come into his slot, he really does hit the ball really cleanly. He's looking very dangerous. Oh, it's a top edge. Is it going to carry? One bounce. Roger just unable to get around. A little bit of a let off. So we're going to swing, swing hard away. Bit of a chance, maybe. Yes, hello everyone. Um, hello, John. Yes, it was a bit of a chance. Just got a little bit high on him. Got it high on the bat. Not surprising, seeing that he's a fairly tall bowler. Right side edge, four more. They've taken out the slip for Chase. Races away to the boundary, second four. Streaky there by Shajil. Didn't mean to get it that fine. Interesting to see how they play against Chasey. He's fairly tall. 
So you'll extract that bounce from just short of the length, which is going to pin the batsman back into the crease. He's not going to be able to get that stride into the ball. And pulled away. Murta's down there. He cut that one off. No, he won't. Just too quick for Murta. Couldn't get down. Third four. Shaking the head from Peter Chase. But this is a good over for Pakistan after the drinks break. Shargil pushing on. This went through. Got a second. ODI 50. Pushing into the 60s. Pulled away, big hit. Oh, carries the rope, got onto that one early. Just going to check which side of the rope had bounced. The grand staff down there were pretty quick to signal the six. Shot. He is very, very impressive on pull the shot. It's the best way I can describe it. Yeah, it. Looks like six to me, all right. Just effortless. Exactly that. He makes it look so easy. It's... He hasn't missed out on any of those shots all day. Oh, he goes big. That's into the crowd. Massive hit by Shargil Khan. That was all timing. Doesn't over hit it, allows the ball to come to him and just a flick of the wrist. And off it goes. Short pulled away again. Too high for the fielder, safely carries the advertising hoarding. Another six for Shargil Khan. First we saw timing and now we saw power. Great timing off his legs and now he's been so hot on this shot all day. Just back of a limp, swivels around, hits it straight over the deep square legs head. 23 runs off the over, 21 gone, it's 136 for two. Short pulled away again. Too high for the fielder. It safely carries the advertising hoarding. Another six for Shargil Khan. First we saw timing and now we saw power. Great timing off his legs and now he's been so hot on this shot all day. Just back of a limp, swivels around, hits it straight over the deep square legs head. 23 runs off the over, 21 gone, it's 136 for two. Straying down the leg side a little bit, oh, and there it is, misfield. Went past O'Brien on the half volley, it was a tricky one to get, the 100 comes up for Shargil Khan. His teammates down to applaud him. Great innings for Shargil Khan. His first ODI 100. And his teammates delighted with him. Look what it means to Shargil Khan. And there's huge applause around the ground as well from all the Pakistan supporters here. A magnificent century. Tickles it down the leg side. Bit of a misfield. The fourth fastest century in ODI cricket for Pakistan. We saw plenty of timing, power, it had everything. Great footwork against spinners. It looks a class act. But they just can't stop the boundaries coming. That is Sharjee Khan's sixth maximum. Takes the score on the 170 for two. And the Irish spinners are certainly under a huge amount of pressure. Unable to stop the single and seemingly unable to stop the boundary. Seems to have it all. Power, timing, 
and placement. Oh, and a great catch in the crowd. Short ball, brought back and pulled over to Ed Joyce at Coy Corner for another maximum. End of the 28th over, Pakistan 198 for two. Looks of it. Magnificent shot from Sharjee Lagian, picked up, but this time well over the square leg boundary for another maximum. Well, it doesn't matter if you bowl over the wicket or around the wicket. He is hot on that shot. He's got this great ability to just little forward press and just transfer a weight. And he allows his hands to get underneath the ball. And always seems to middle it straight into the crowd. He's not making any attempt to actually keep that ball down. Are you sure he's not? He's actually just, he's just getting under it and helping it on his way, using the pace. Even there, nice and high. What he does is tries to get underneath the ball. Change of plan from Kevin O'Brien, but not able to contain Chargill. This time, long off the long go back, we've brought up square leg, but offering that width. He's just got the hands through the ball. And the Pakistani supporters getting a little bit carried away. Good to see them okay. Stop the boundary. Pakistan moves swiftly off, double Nelson as Sharjil moves to 152, the third fastest 150 in ODI history, overtaking Luke Ronchi against Sri Lanka in 2015, third behind A.B. de Villiers and Shane Watson.